Okay, we're doing the Kansas History Chapter 4 test. First part is matching. Write the correct letter next to the name of the person it describes. Beginning with number one, we have James Lane. Two, Clarina Nichols. Three, Samuel Jones. Four, Ann Clark. Five, David Rice Atkinson. Six, Charles Robinson. Seven, Andrew Reeder. Eight, John Brown. Your selections. Selection A, a U.S. Senator from Missouri who encouraged pro-slavery settlers to come to Kansas Territory. Selection B, an anti-slavery supporter who organized 400 settlers from northern states to come to Kansas Territory. C. The first governor of Kansas Territory. D. A slave from Lecompton who escaped on the Underground Railroad. E. An abolitionist who fought for the rights of women. F. Pro-slavery sheriff of Douglas County who attacked Lawrence and burned down newspaper offices and other buildings. G. A well-known abolitionist who was willing to use violence to end slavery and was hanged for treason. H. Elected governor at the Topeka Convention and later arrested for treason by pro-slavery supporters. You can take a moment to pause the video. Let me switch this over so we can do the next bit. And clippy. There we go. Okay, our next section is going to be matching. We're going to write the correct letter of a definition. So we're doing definitions next to the vocabulary word. Your vocabulary words are here, selections here. Your first one, number nine, a free stater. Ten, pro-slavery. Eleven, border ruffian. Twelve, Abolitionist. 13. Jayhawker. 14. Anti slavery. 15. Popular sovereignty. 16. Bushwhacker. 17. Indentured servant. Now for your selections. I, a person who is bonded or contracted to work for another for a specified time. J, the concept that political and legislative power resides with the citizens. K. 
Missouri settlers who crossed into Kansas to influence the outcome of the slavery issue in Kansas. L. A free soil or unionist guerrilla in Kansas and Missouri during the border dispute. M. Supportive of the practice of slavery. N. A person who wanted to bring about the immediate end of slavery. O. Missouri settlers who raided anti-slavery settlements in Kansas. P. A settler who believed Kansas should not allow slavery. Q. Opposed to the practice of slavery. Okay, you can pause the video here and do the test part here and I'll switch over. Okay, ready for some multiple choice. Multiple choice section, write the letter of the correct answer on the blank beside the number, each number. 18, the concept of popular sovereignty under the Kansas-Nebraska Act. A, allowed Kansas to enter the Union as a slave state. B, allowed the people who lived in Kansas territory to decide the fate of slavery in the state. C, brought about the Dred Scott decision. 19. Attempts to organize a government in Kansas Territory were difficult because A. The settlers, the new settlers, did not have experience setting up a government. C. Both the anti-slavery and pro-slavery forces wanted control of the government. D. There was too much violence in Kansas Territory. Twenty. Kansas Territory got the name Bleeding Kansas because A. National attention focused on the violence over slavery. B. Beecher Bibles were shipped into the territory. D. The rivers were dry with red dirt. Twenty-one. John Greenleaf Whittier wrote the poem, The Kansas Immigrant Song. B. As a tribute to his grandparents. C. With a hidden message in support of slavery. D to encourage those against slavery to settle Kansas territory. 22. The Underground Railroad was A. The first railroad to be built across the continental United States. B, a company run by slave owners wanting to move to Kansas Territory. D, a network of safe houses that helped slaves escape. Twenty-three. 
23. Border ruffians from Missouri voted in the first territorial election because A. They wanted the pro-slavery forces to take control of Kansas territory. B. They wanted to see if they could get away with illegally voting in another state. C. They intended to move to Kansas Territory in the future. Twenty-four. Under which constitution did Kansas become a state? A. Leavenworth. B. Wyandotte. C. Topeka. Take a moment to pause the video. Answer your questions. Be very careful. We'll switch it over to the next page. Alright. Looks like we got some true error false. Write a T if the statement is true or an F if the treatment statement is false. 25. Abolitionists believe slavery was immoral and shouldn't be abolished. 26. True or false? Free staters were settlers who came to Kansas Territory seeking free land. 27. True or false? A census is a way to accurately count people who live in an area. 28. True or false? Jayhawkers voted illegally in the first election in Kansas Territory. 29. True or false? Slave owners in Kansas Territory ran large plantations with hundreds of slaves. 30. True or false? Pro-slavery forces created the Lecompton Constitution. 31. True or false? Women were given the right to vote in local school board elections in the Wyandotte Constitution. 32. True or false? The Marias de Sin Massacre was the last major violent act in the Kansas City Territory and the national attention from it increased tensions across the country. 33. True or false? The Pony Express ended because Kansas became a state. 34. True or false? The western boundary of Kansas Territory extended all the way to the Rocky Mountains. And last, 35. True or false? Transcontinental is spanning or crossing, ac crossing across Kansas territory. Okay, that ends the test.